Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I created my glossy cherry look. I'm starting with the Jaclyn Hill palette and using this dark red shade with a very big brush and blending it in but making sure that I'm getting a lot of color all over my lid. So I decided for this video to go really slow and show you all the detail because I've noticed in my last few videos that I've kind of edited them out to be really quick and to fit time. So this one is a little bit more satisfying and drawn out. But back to the eyeshadow, I'm taking this all the way through the crease line. I'm really just blending the same color all over trying to get pretty even, but then blending up toward my brow bone and giving myself a little bit of highlight up there. Now I will be taking this smaller brush to define under my eyes with the same color and then I will be going along the crease line and darkening that up a little bit just to give some dimension. Now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I will be using it to create the base for my cherries. So I'm using a smaller flat brush, the same kind that I would use to create a cut crease and just trying to make as perfect of a circle as I can on my cheekbone and then a second circle right beside it. Now I'm taking the same brush and color from earlier and just trying to dab in that color about halfway over the cherry so that we can give it some dimension eventually. Now I'm using my NYX Epic Brights palette with a really small detail brush and I'm filling in the rest of that cherry just using a brighter red color so that we don't just have a blob of one color, getting some more dimension in there. And I'm sorry my lighting is horrible. I'm trying to get a new camera to be filming with a little bit higher quality than this. Next, I'm taking NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm going to be tracing the cherries with black liner just to help them pop out a little bit more. So this part probably took me the longest to do. I kept shaking really bad and messing up and the cherries looked horrible so I'd have to keep fixing it. Anyway, if I were to redo this, I probably would have used face paints instead of liner. So here I'm taking a small detail brush and using my Shape Tape Concealer to create the stems of the cherries as well as a single leaf. And when I was creating the stems, I made sure to go down into the cherries because you don't just want it sitting on top. If you want a more realistic look, you definitely want to pull it down to the cherries. I also added a tiny white dot on each cherry. I recommend using white eyeliner instead of concealer. Again, with the NYX Brights palette, I'm using this light green to go over the concealer for the stems and leaf. I noticed that with this palette, you really have to pack in the color because the pigment isn't super bright, unfortunately, with some of the colors. So you really want to pack this green in. And now 
I'm just taking the same eyeliner and creating a little tiny line on the leaf so it has some dimension as well as outlining the stems. At first I only wanted to outline one side to make it look like a shadow and then I realized that I'd outlined the whole cherries so I had to outline the stems and it just became kind of a mess but anyway you guys get the gist. Now I'm taking my Laura Geller Berry Trifle Blush and I'm applying it everywhere because I wanted a really bright pinky red look, you know, like sun-kissed, happy summer vibes. I don't know, makes me think of cherries. As always, Kat Von D's Shade Plus Light Contour Palette and giving a decently deep contour. Didn't want to go too crazy because I didn't want my face to look too dark and spooky. I'm taking my Becca highlight in the shade Moonstone and I'll be highlighting all the important parts. I probably should have done this before I did the cherries, but you know, I wasn't really thinking this look was just kind of a disaster, but anyway. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in Seraphine and this turned out to be more of a matte. I thought it was going to be a gloss but I wasn't paying attention so yeah probably would use a gloss just to begin with but you'll see how I fix it.
back at it again with the eyeliner and I'm actually using it as eyeliner. Here we go. Now I'm taking the Eyelore Jasmine Brown Francis So Pretty lashes and applying them real quick like. Since I didn't have any face gloss, I used what I had and went with my NYX Liquid Lingerie Clear Gloss and it basically just dabbed it all over my eyes. and. Tried to get it on there pretty thick. I didn't want to actually use the applicator because I didn't want to You know get my eye goop in there or whatever. I don't know I didn't want to use it But anyway, so I just used a little flat brush and I went under the eye um, Be careful with this because it could be irritating to some people um, I would recommend using an actual face gloss instead of a lip gloss and then I fixed my lips Using this over top of them You're welcome and that is really it. Um, if I could fix this look, I would add a little bit more gloss, add some gloss to the cherries, as well as some white eyeliner. But you know, you do you. Just take this as my advice as to what I did wrong. But. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you more than anything and I hope you enjoyed this look and let me know what you want to see next. All right. Okay. Bye.